Hello, in this tutorial I'll show you how to make um, parchment textures in GIMP with two methods. The first method I'll go over is the plasma method, which is non-tileable unfortunately, but uh, differs quite a, quite a lot from the second method, which is the Perlin method. So to get, get started with the plasma method, let's um, create a new image with dimensions 2500 by 2500, press OK. And to create the plasma, you go filters, render, clouds, plasma. Now you want your turbulence to be 0 0.5. So what turbulence is, 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 it is essentially how random your plasma is. So if you have this all the way down to like 0, or 0 0.1, it's the minimum it can go to, it's essentially a gradient and it, this is really boring. Now, if as you bring this up, it slowly becomes more and more complicated until the point where you, if you bring this up all the way, it's almost pure noise. And this is not what you'd want, and this is not what you want. So you'd want somewhere in between where 0 0.5 is a good option. So let's render out plasma. And once the plasma has, okay, there we go. Plasma has rendered out. Um, our parchment is not going to be multicolored like this. So, in order to get rid of the colorfulness of the parchment of the pla of the plasma, let's go colors, um, hue saturation, and bring our saturation all the way down to turn this into grayscale. Next, we have to create a new layer to impose our parchment color onto it. So, let's make that layer 2500 by 2500 and fill it with white. Now I've already picked out this parchment color here, so if you'd like to copy that down, it is CFA767, or red 207, green 167, and blue 103. So now that we have that there, let's open our paint that bucket and fill our new layer with that color. Now if we want to impose our parchment color onto our um, background, our texture, what we need to do is decrease our layer opacity. So if you don't see this layers dialog, you can open it in Windows, Dockable Dialogs, um, Layers, or Control L, if you like shortcuts. So in order to um, impose that on there, let's bring down the opacity to about perhaps 60. So now you can see that this is quite a solid color, but you can also see the texture behind it. Now, the issue with this is that it's not tileable. Now, the way to fix that, well, it's not a way of fixing it, it's another method of creating the parchment, is the Perlin method, which uses Perlin noise um, instead of plasma. So, let's create some parchment using that method as well. So, file new, image size 2500 by 2500, and here, as we did before, let's go filters, render, clouds, and instead of going to plasma, let's go difference clouds. Difference clouds is essentially per noise, um, but GIMP calls it that instead. So let's create some difference clouds. Um, you want your detail to be 15, your X size to be 4, your Y size to be 4 as well. If your X size and Y size don't line up, then you're going to have warping like this. So if you, you have your Y size too large, then it's going to be warped horizontally. And if you have your X size too large, it's going to be warped vertically. So you want these to be the same. And also, you want tileable to be checked. If it's not checked, then your texture will not be tileable. So if you see, um, when you press tileable on these edges, it creates it so it loops back over. So let's render that out the solid noise finish. Okay, so now that the solid noise is finished, uh, as before, we need to create a new layer, fill it with white, 2500 by 2500, fill it with our pre-selected um, parchment color, and bring down our opacity, just like before. Uh, in this case, I, I would have said that um, previously we had 60 for our opacity, if you remember from the plasma, but with Perlin, you'd probably want this to be a little bit more, maybe 
70. 70 looks pretty good. So that's how to create um, parchment using GIMP. Um, so both of these methods are quite useful. So I hope this was helpful. And thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.